Hi, welcome to my video. In it I'm going to show you how you can use a VPN to watch UK TV. Now, you're probably aware that if you're um, a lot of media sites like the BBC iPlayer, um, ITV Player, American sites, are normally blocked um, when you try and access them online um, from a different country. So you can watch all the UK TV sites in um, in the UK, but if you're outside in France or Germany or anywhere else, um, you'll get blocked. Um, for instance, I'm in France at the moment, and if I go and try and watch um, this program on the BBC iPlayer site, here yeah, I'll just click it on. I'll get a little message like that if the content doesn't seem to be working, or I'll get a message saying um, uh, it's not available in your country. Let me just check now. Okay, you, you, you'll get one of two or three messages. So BBC iPlayer won't work. It's basically because um, I'm, I'm not in the UK. And as I connect to the BBC website, it looks up my IP address, sees that I'm not in Britain, and um, blocks me. Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can set up a VPN. Um, now, to do this, you need a, a subscription to a service. Um, there's quite a lot around now. The one I use is called Identity Cloaker because it's pretty reasonably priced and um, it's very simple to use and you get loads and loads of servers in all different countries. They all cost the same. So I'm going to set up uh, a VPN which is a virtual private network to a UK server. So I'm going to scroll down Identity Cloaker and find the fastest UK server. Just make sure I connect to it. I'm connecting there. I've got the encryption level. I'll take set that to zero because it speeds it up slightly. Uh, and now I've got a VPN set up um, to a UK server. It's that simple. And now all I need to do is, um, I'll just close that. All I need to do now is um, go start um, my browser and go to BBC iPlayer and see if I can watch some of the programs because now I've got now because I've got a VPN set up between um, oops, me and a UK server I should be able to watch it when I connect to the UP, um, the BBC iPlayer site this time it will see I'm in the UK and it should play the content and you can see there hopefully that's now playing and it before when I was getting the error message this time it'll play perfectly. I can at this point actually um, stop the um, VPN if I want. The BBC only checks at the beginning of each program, so um, there's no real uh, need to, to keep the VPN enabled. Some of the other sites like ITV Player um, will need you to um, keep connected. Um, it's great because you've got so many different servers. You can watch Canadian servers. Uh, to watch Canadian TV, you can watch all the some brilliant um, US uh, media sites like Hulu, Pandora, NBC, ABC. There's um, lots of specific sites for things like The Simpsons and stuff that are only available in um, the US. In that case, instead of a UK VPN, just click on a US server and you are instantly appear to be in the US. It really does transform your internet browsing gives you access to practically everything in YouTube. You won't get that um, not available in your country um, message you get. And it's all very simple to use. Um, the I've got a discount code that you should see on the screen um, if you want to try Identity Cloaker. There's quite a few others out there. Um, I like Identity Cloaker because it's reasonably priced and it's very fast, um, which is important when you're um, streaming uh, multimedia. Okay, well, I'm going to finish there, keep this short. Um, hope you've enjoyed my video about um, UK TV VPNs. And thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.